So it's like nine o'clock. I came out here to the shop to shut off the air compressor, maybe do a little bit of cleaning and then go to bed. And this is a course when my brain is like, you need to design and make something right now. So we're gonna design and make something right now. I don't understand it either. I'm just along for the ride. So we're gonna start in Fusion. So I really want to machine this tonight, but I can tell I'm getting tired. And I only have two of those 1 inch end mills. So to call it safe, I'm gonna go to bed. Otherwise I might hurt something or someone like myself. But the design is done, the cam is done, and I should be able to get it machined basically as soon as I have even just like an hour of free time. So I guess transition to future AJ. All right, on a side note, the Kickstarter is done. This crate here is the last of the packages. It's 100% fulfilled of everybody who's turned in their backer survey. I still have people who haven't done that and those will trickle in over time and I'll do them as they come in. But the vast bulk of the Kickstarter is finally done and now I can get a haircut. All right, the packages for the carabiner are all shipped. I think now we finally get to machine that screwdriver. So let's get started. All right, all right, all right. Before we go to machining, we need to start by doing a prototype on the laser to make sure the general shape and size is right before we go wasting a bunch of time on the mill. So I have a nice chunk of acrylic here that's about the right size. Let's get this in the laser and try it out. It don't fit. So I guess we're doing laser band saw. That actually worked really well. I can't believe I learned something useful from a William Osmond video. All right, so the acrylic with the laser cutter isn't exactly a big fan of these super thin walls, and I don't have it dialed in on the laser cutter. It's my first time cutting quarter inch acrylic, but the, the general size and shape seem to work pretty well. The bit fits in there well, and I think it would be reasonably comfortable to use this as a screwdriver. Obviously not for real work and real repair applications, but if you need to tighten the knob on a tripod, I think it'll be great. The only change that I'm going to make is I don't like how the bit can go straight through the hole. So I'm gonna make this a blind hole, which I can't do on the laser anyway, instead of a through hole. That way you can push down on it and turn. Everything else I'm happy with. It's about as small and simple as a screwdriver could possibly be. At least one where that stores a bit in it and goes on a keychain. I'm almost out of stainless. This is my last chunk and I wanna save this if I get any more orders for pry bars. So I'm gonna do my prototyping and the prototype of the month Patreon boxes out of brass. All right, we're probing. You can see why I like the kind of longer tips and bigger rubies and the, the traditional Tormach setup. And it is because I tend to do a lot of the salami slice method where my stock is sticking way up. I just have found that it's better to probe more towards the middle of it in case my stock is not perfectly vertical or if it has some twist or bow to it or whatever, all of which I have encountered in the past. Now we're just at the kind of scary part where the only thing to do is hit the start button. All right, let's see if this fits. It should fit in here. That's maybe a little bit loose and it shouldn't fit in here. Yeah, it does not fit. It does not fit in there. So I think we're good to cut it off to see what the final result is.
All right, there she is. Uh, at first glance, it seems to have mostly worked. You can see, maybe, that the slot doesn't go all the way through for the flexure. I think that probably has to do with the length offset of my saw. It needs some manual adjusting, and I think it'll be fine on the next go. The bit fits a little too wobbly in that slot, so I'm gonna tighten that up. And then, let's see, does it fit in this slot? It does. It's a little tight, but that may be... Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so it does fit, though it is very tight. But I think if that flexure gets opened up in the bottom, it'll be perfectly fine. I, I think we're onto something here. I like this. This is the right size and shape. I think this will work well. Apparently a little troubleshooting is in order. I just measured the thickness of that screwdriver as it came off the mill and it's like 20 thousandths too thick. And that's, that's a lot. I didn't see anything obviously wrong in the code. So I'm gonna check my tool offsets. It might be the length of that first tool or more likely it's the length of the slitting saw. I'm not sure how I got that far off, but it is very difficult to touch off on the touch probe. So that's the most likely one, but it's easier to check the roughing tool. So I'm gonna start there. The offset for that tool changed by nothing. Not even by a tenth at the end. It was dead on. Probably not our problem. I'm just going to manually offset the length of the saw and that should get us to the right thickness. All of the changes have been made. Offsets have been tweaked. Cam has been updated. Let's run the next version. Serious eye contact as I open and close doors. Very essential to the video. I did a dump. I offset the tool in the wrong direction. And now this has double the error. I guess I get to do this exact same thing again with the right offset. Prototype number three came out pretty well. It's easy enough to get this key out of here. You just kind of twist it and then pull it. It feels pretty secure like it's not gonna to come out. I would be more comfortable making these out of stainless because I think it'll have better spring properties on that little flexure here. I think the brass might be too soft and that'll loosen up over time. It fits pretty well in the little hex slot at the end. I did have to tweak that size down just a tad. Though I have discovered that the little bit of variation between these hex bits does matter. Some of them fit tighter, some of them fit looser. Some of them, like this one, are not concentric or parallel or whatever. It fits better in some directions than it does in others. But overall, I think this will accomplish what it needs to. Nobody's gonna be using these to torque down a fixture. They're just adjusting their tripod or tightening an Aaron screw. This is obviously not designed to replace a real screwdriver. I would honestly be happy to ship this as it is, at least after finishing. Because I have some time, I'm going to make some tweaks and see how much better I can get it. Particularly in the tension on that retaining flexure. Five prototypes later and I am happy with the design. I think this is the final one, except for the sandblasting. I sandblasted this one out of curiosity. It made the tool not fit in that hexagon just because it, it peens up so much material there. I'm gonna go ahead and start running production on these. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to the hardware store and pick up some of these bits so that I can ship those with the screwdrivers. Fortunately, I made these with the salami slice method, which means I can just hit go on my machine. And while I'm going to the hardware store, the machine will just machine them itself. I should get five pry bars from this piece of stock in about an hour and 45 minutes, and then I can just switch it out when I get back. And by pry bars, I mean screwdrivers. Here, why don't you watch the mill for me while I'm gone? Just hit the big red button if something goes bad. It seemed like that little production run when I went to the store went well, but something happened, probably tool wear, 
and now they don't fit. You could force this into the, the little hexagon, but not quite um, what I was going for. I started it again. This time I opened up that hole by one foul more, which I think will be enough to make a fit. And I'm gonna run another five and hope those work. And I guess these go in my scrap bin or my friends and family bin. On the bright side, with this uh, new, these new set of bits that I just got at the store, they fit perfectly. I'm super happy with how this one's worked out. I just need to get the size dialed in on this hexagon here. Another five on the machine now. I'll check it after the first one. And the machine is just gonna keep running. I should hopefully get five now before bed and then five while I'm in bed and then 10 more tomorrow morning. So I made a whole bunch of these screwdrivers overnight. I tumbled them and I have to throw them all away. They're not good. I don't like them. Two things happened that I didn't catch until now. One, they're too thin. I did math wrong with my um, salami slice operation. So the first one came off correct, but the other ones came out about a 16th of an inch too thin. And then also I had some issues with tool wear or something and the hexagons that fit the driver bit are just too thin. So these, I'm gonna have to get rid of. I really was hoping to ship something today. I think that ship has sailed. So let's do this again. Into the bucket they go. I've already made my changes in cam. I've sped up my feeds and speeds a little bit. So we should be able to get this next batch done a lot quicker than the last one. Hopefully it'll work. It is a few days later now, and despite a couple of days of being very sick, I was able to get all of the screwdrivers machined and in the tumbler, so now we just need to ship them. All right, these are looking pretty good. So now I just need to test all of them and get them put into their cardboard inserts. Some of them also have some gunk still in the hexagon, so I may need to clean that out too. Hi, this is future AJ with a haircut because past AJ forgot to record an outro. I was able to get all of those packages out on time and my Patreons pretty universally like them. I have some design changes that I need to make and I will make a second version of these in a month or two when all the Kickstarter madness dies down a little bit. If you wanna buy something I make that's not one of these screwdrivers, you can find it on betterkeychains.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Perfectly.